Hello again and welcome to Pool Guy Supply. Today we're going to be installing a salt system for this customer who is elected to go with the Hayward Aqua Right salt system with a T-Cell 15 which is rated for up to 40,000 gallons. Prior to any installation, always turn off the power at the main breaker to avoid any electrical hazards and read your installation manual before beginning. The control panel can be installed either on a wall adjacent to the pool equipment or on conduit directly above the existing timer. On the return side of the pool plumbing, past the filter and heater, you're going to need to remove 13 inches of PVC plumbing to install the new turbo cell. This also takes into account the dimensions needed for the unions. Be sure that you still have at least one and a half inches for the new unions to be plumbed onto the existing pipe. Using a hacksaw or reciprocating saw, remove the 13 inch piece of pipe. The flow switch will need to be plumbed in a section of plumbing that has at least 12 inches of straight pipe prior to it. If it is a pool spa combination, make sure you install the flow switch on the swimming pool return line. The PVC T for the flow switch will require that you remove one and a quarter inches of piping. For this particular installation, we're going to cut the other side of the pipe and then just add a coupling to make this installation go a little easier. After installing PVC primer and glue, we install the coupling on one side and the flow T on the other, being sure not to get any glue on the actual flow switch. Make sure you have the arrow pointing in the direction of the flow of water. Also, try to position the T so that the flow switch will be accessible at a later time. Now we can replace the section of plumbing that was previously removed. To prepare for the new T-cell to be installed, we first install one union on each end of the plumbing. We always like to use a generous amount of either silicone or Teflon based lubricant to aid in the installation and removal for service. It's a good idea to put a little bit of the lubricant on the male threads at each end of the T-cell as well. Lube Tube is a great quality Teflon based lubricant that we use in the field all the time. Once everything is lubed up, you can go ahead and put the T-cell in and hand tighten only the unions at each end. Remove the access panel by unscrewing the two screws on the sides and then pulling out on the finger hole on the top. The upper right panels are designed to accept either 120 volt or 240 volt. Check to see what the voltage is for the system you're working on.
After installing your conduit and wire, refer to the panel door for the proper wiring instructions depending on your voltage. This particular installation is a 240 volt installation, which is basically two 110 lines and one ground wire. We usually like to pull our line voltage for the Aquarite panel from the load side of the timer. Thus the only time the Aquarite panel will have power is when the timer is in the on position. So that we don't connect too many wires to one terminal screw, in this particular installation we're going to add a pigtail of one wire into a wire nut with the rest of the wires. After completing the wiring, close up the panels. Route the wiring from your turbo cell and your flow switch along the plumbing. Locate the hole in the bottom of the panel that looks similar to a phone jack and plug in the flow switch at this point. Plug the turbo cell in at the bottom front portion of the panel. Push it in firmly to make sure it's in all the way. Complete your installation by securing any excess wiring off to the plumbing and adjacent conduit with zip ties. As always, feel free to contact us at Pool Guy Supply if you have any further questions.